finally free. Let me tell you about dragons. Welcome tea and dragon enthusiasts to the Tea Dragon Society card game. The Tea Dragon Society card game is a deck building game based on the graphic novel by Katie O'Neill. To begin the game, we'll separate the cards into the respective stacks. We have four dragon decks to choose from. These season cards, which can be identified by the art along the sides of the card. Reference cards, a single mentor's card, and everything else are known as market cards. Give each player a reference card and each player will choose one of the dragon decks. While all the decks are technically different, they all function exactly the same. Each dragon just has a specific ability that refers to a specific card, but each of those four cards exists in each deck. I'm going to pick chamomile for demonstration purposes. And I'll set this up for a two player game. Take the rest of the market cards, shuffle them and set them off to the side. Give the oldest player the mentor's card. And we'll need to take a number of season cards depending on the number of players. If there are two players, we'll need to take three season cards from each season and putting the rest in the box without looking at them. Take the cards of the first season, being spring, and lay them all face up on the board. Shuffle the market cards and place four of them face up on the board. The rest of the market cards can be placed beside the market for easy access. Each player will then take their dragon card, place it face up on the board, shuffle their deck, and place it beside their dragon, leaving plenty of space because in this game, you do not have a hand. Any card you draw will be placed immediately on the table. As the game goes on, you'll need a lot of space to accommodate all the cards. The first player is the player with the mentor's card. After this point, it's treated just like any other card, and it goes inside what's known as your hold. Your hold is simply the card that you have access to. When it is your turn, you have the choice of drawing a card from your deck and placing it into your hold, or buying a card from the market that includes the four market cards here and the season cards known as mementos above. The objective of the game is to have the most victory points in your deck by the end of the four seasons. In order to buy cards, they'll have a cost in the top right corner. You meet this cost by spending a number of growth, which is the number in the top left corner of cards in your hold. So currently, Chamomile only has one growth in their hold and that wouldn't allow them to buy any of the cards in the market, so they'll choose to draw. Flip over the first card and place it into their hold. Now Chamomile has two growth, and the next player would make their decision, draw or buy. Now Chamomile has three cards in their hold, for a total of three growth. And instead of drawing on their turn, they choose to buy. So what they'll do, is take the growth cards that they're using to spend, place it into a discard pile, take the card they're buying, and place that new card into their hold, and replacing the card that they bought. Now in this purchase, the chamomile player used the mentor's card to fulfill that purchase. And it says when spent, pass this to the player on your right. They would pass it, and the game would continue. Now when it's Chamomile's turn again, they'll choose to buy another card. And this time, they'll buy a Mementos card. These cards have high victory point values, so they're very desirable. They're very limited, and they cause the game to end sooner. When one of these are purchased, you'll take that card and place it into your discard pile. Then take your discard pile and shuffle it into your deck. The Mementos cards do not get shuffled or replaced as they're bought. Instead, once there's only one of those cards remaining, the entire game is put on pause. When this happens, you'll take the remaining Mementos card, get rid of it, 
Take the cards of the next season, place them face up, and get rid of all remaining cards in the market, discard them, and replace them. So now let's talk about the kind of cards that you can come across. There's standard growth cards, which are signified by this flower. The main purpose of them is to buy other cards. Then you have these star cards that have bonus effects, which are detailed on the card itself. This brush here says whenever you draw a grooming, draw again. It's essentially giving you free turns of draws to allow you to have your hold grow exponentially so that you can buy more valuable cards sooner. You have these protection cards. This one says whenever you draw a board card, do not discard an entertaining. What that means is you'll find certain cards in your deck that are detrimental to your hold. When they're drawn, they'll cause you to discard cards in your hold, which can really set you back and undo progress you've made. There are scoring bonus cards, which don't have an immediate effect, but they'll be worth victory points at the end of the game. You have vulnerable cards that are worth victory points, but can be shuffled into your deck and thereby cause you to have wasted turns. And then there are the two special market cards, which are there to cause a disturbance in the regular flow of the game. If the market deck is empty, when it needs to be replenished, simply take the discard pile, shuffle it, and make a new market deck. But that's it. Once the winter season is over, the game will end. When that happens, each player will look at all the cards accumulated in their deck, see what they're worth, and whoever has the highest victory point total is the winner. It's a very simple and casual deck building game with very cute art. But that's not to say that there isn't a little bit of strategy that can be employed in this game, but that's for you to figure out. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to support the future release of more tutorials like this. But that's all for now. Until next time.